esteemed friends teachers are sometime tediously instructive sometimes we feel bored because they repeatedly say the same idea in various ways again and again it is because teachers love the subject they teach teachers love the people they teach a good teacher loves the subject loves the student shri krishna is fond of the subject he teaches shri krishna is fond of his student his disciple his pupil arjuna therefore in this 18th chapter he repeatedly in various ways explains the three prakrutis tamasika prakruti rajasika prakruti and satvika prakruti we might have listened to them in various ways this is at another buddhya vishuddhaya yukta dhrutvatmanam niyamya cha शब्दादीन विषयान त्यक्वा रागद्वेशो व्युदस्यच्च बुद्ध्या विशुद्धया बुद्धि ब्रेन इंटेलेक्ट शुड बी क्लियर शुड बी क्लीन शुड बी प्योर शुड बी ट्रांसपेरेंट वी इन आवर फिजिकल स्ट्रक्चर have three components one is body we all know and in this body there is a mind and deeper still there is a brain intellect buddhi this body has five senses shabdadin vishaya we have the eyes to see to see clearly we have the ears to listen to listen clearly we have the nose to feel the fragrance smell clearly we have the tongue to feel the taste clearly we have the skin to feel the touch very clearly these five senses are the parts of the body and next we have the mind to feel impartially we have the intellect to think clearly to understand clearly to understand pinpointedly to understand perfectly there are three layers at the senses level at the mind level and at the brain level the senses may be blocked tamasika prakruti i am blind cannot see my vision is blocked i cannot see my vision is darkened i cannot see i am deaf i cannot hear properly clearly same is the case with all the five senses blocked vision and then we come to the blurred vision distorted vision colorful vision this is the second stage rajasika prakruti when we see clearly when we listen clearly when we feel the fragrance clearly satvika prakruti similarly mind likes and dislikes we are unable to see feel clearly correctly precisely perfectly when we are tossed on the pairs of opposites good and bad right and wrong preference and prejudice likes and dislikes these are all feelings 
they do not allow us to see feel clearly brain from ignorance we don't know at all we don't think well at all and then we have the ego coming to the surface self centered thinking selfish thinking possessive thinking greedy thinking all types of aberrations at the intellectual level that is rajasik level then very clearly you think precisely you think clearly you think grasp clearly understand clearly when we teach in a classroom there are people who are totally absent minded they don't listen at all they don't understand at all their perception is totally blocked and then the second partially they listen partially they understand they misunderstand also when the brain reaches the sattvic level transparent level pure level clarity there will be clear they will understand these three levels of tamasik prakriti where you don't use your senses mind intellect at all next we enter into the blurred vision distorted vision distracted vision colored vision and then it is rajasik level while hearing suppose you want to hear the bbc news you switch on the tv or the radio set as long as it is not switched on nothing is heard even if you switch on there is no guarantee of listening to it clearly as long as it is not tuned properly it should be fine tuned if it is not fine tuned we have distorted voices disturbing voices distracting voices and then when it is fine tuned you listen very clearly at the sense level at the mind level at the intellectual level shri krishna takes us very clearly from the tamasik prakriti rajasik prakriti and sattvik prakriti all these three prakritis are apara prakriti we have to go beyond the tamasik prakriti beyond the rajasik prakriti beyond the sattvik prakriti to have the para prakriti wherein the limited becomes the unlimited the finite becomes the infinite wherein the small self becomes the large self wherein ego is totally erased atman is completely realized and god is seen in every one of us there is god in every one of us there is atman but that atman is concealed that atman is kept hidden god's voice is not heard when we are at the tamasic level at the rajasic level it is a distorted voice that we hear selfish colored and when we are sattvic it is clear go beyond that to become one with the infinite shri krishna paramatma loves arjuna loves every one of us therefore he wants us to raise from apara prakriti to para prakriti from the selfishness to unfish unselfishness from the possessiveness to generosity from the egoistic nature to atman stature this is how step by step shri krishna takes us from ignorance to enlightened state from inertia to intuition for from selfishness to self realization hari om tat sat thank you very much
Good morning, everyone. The Bengaluru City Division Level Dasra Games 2024-25, organized by the Department of Youth Empowerment, took place on 24th and 25th September at Sri Kantirava Stadium. From our university, total 42 students participated, represented our university in various sports. Notable achievements in the Yogasana competition, Sveta Shruti from BNYS won gold medal, <laughs> Durgesh silver medal, Samyak and Dilip got a gold medal, Varad secured third place. They got selected for Dasra CM Cup 2024 will be held from 3rd to 6th October in Mysore. Shweta Shruti. Shweta, gold medal. Durgesh, gold medal. Shruti, gold medal. S Samyak, silver medal. Varad got selected for C CM Cup. Uh, we have a small video on that. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramayaha, Sarve Bhatrani Pashantu, Ma Kasche Dukha Bhag Bhavet, Om Shanti 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 Hi.